segment four of the Bible says this, what say you? I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wood, senior pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And listen, the, the uh, Psalm 33, verse four, the A clause says, the, the word of the Lord is right. Now listen, now listen, now listen. We're coming from Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 13 that says, he that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is folly and shame to him. And again, we're talking about things that's going on in this world and how things are being reported and quite frankly, our response to the way things are being reported. Now, check this out. You remember when Ali was interviewed, he said, come on, George. Come on, George. Throw your best punch, George. You remember that? And you know, the, when him and George Foreman had it out and he said that George hit him, bam! And he says, George, that's all you got. And George Foreman said, the truth is that that was all I had. And Ali, the mighty Ali, didn't go down. Ali said he whispered in George's ear when the fight began and said, hey, man, can you believe how much money they're paying us to fight this fight? What a man, George Foreman. I appreciate the Reverend George Foreman. And uh, someone said to me the other day, said, man, I just hope you keep making that George Foreman grill. He's an awesome man of God, a, a tremendous dad, a tremendous pitch man, and one of the greatest fighters of history. George Foreman weighed in the other day on some of the things that are going on since athletes are talking. Uh, uh, LeBron, LeBron James, George Foreman, we've, we've, we've heard from uh, uh, Kevin Durant. So Foreman says this, 68-year-old boxer and grill maker joined the Offend America podcast on Monday where he called out Kevin Durant for his comments about the Golden State Warriors' potential visit to the White House and Colin Kaepernick in his national anthem protest. According to Foreman, all Kaepernick is doing is trying to be another Muhammad Ali by speaking out about politics. But what he needs to realize is that, quote, a lot of Americans died in war so that they could have that privilege, end of quote. Uh, it goes on to say, Farman said nobody in his era would have done anything like either of these athletes because they had more respect for America. Quote, we all came in an era where we were patriotic. Look, look at this. The greatest day of my life was when I put on the, on the colors representing the United States, Farman said, referring to the time when he won the gold medal in the Summer Olympics. I love the United States. I love the flag, a foreman said. They haven't been brought up with people who were patriotic to even point them in the right direction. These are the words of George Foreman, Big George. Uh, if you, uh, see him on the street and jump on him and uh, beat him up, if you, <laughs> if you will. Foreman had some advice for Durant, too. He said, when it comes to visiting the White House, the boxing champ was invited uh, to meet multiple presidents, but the only one he refused was Richard Nixon. Uh, a foreman did not go and uh, meet with Richard Nixon, and foreman says that that was a decision that he regrets to this day. He says, now I have these photographs of all the presidents, all the previous presidents, and I don't have the one with Nixon because I was kind of ignorant. Foreman's words, not mine. Uh, Foreman said the Job Corps still exists. He said the reason he didn't meet with Nixon is that he thought that Nixon was going to get rid of the Job Corps. He said the Job Corps is still in existence. I wish I had, I had gone one time to take a photograph with the President of the United States to go along with the rest of them. He says, and while Durant is a champion, he said refusing to meet with the President, no matter how you feel about him, is a sign of a, quote, sore loser, end of quote, George Foreman. Now, uh, 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 LeBron James had something to say about this. Um, he calls our president. He said it's not only about the guy, the so-called president in the White House or whatever the case. LeBron uh, has a problem with Dan Gibbert, the owner of the Cavalier. He gave uh, $750,000 to the Trump inauguration effort. And um, uh, as you know, uh, LeBron uh, supported Hillary. But I wonder if LeBron James, super basketball player, awesome man, a family man, a husband, 
uh, I mean, uh, a, a, a physical specimen, an awesome uh, player, uh, a Hall of Famer. But I wonder if he realizes that although I agree, I agree with him 100% or all of those uh, who would say that uh, Hillary would have been a much more polished president. She would have been much more presidential than, than uh, Donald Trump. Her wordings would have been good, notwithstanding when she called black super predators, but her wording uh, would have been good, you know, and, and not, you know, you got to take away stuff like when she says, now the church is going to have to change its uh, position on LGBT, uh, uh, the black church that is, or when she went to a black church and started preaching, I don't feel no ways tired. You remember that? But overall, she, she would have been a much better sounding president. The only problem, uh, LeBron, as you were uh, campaigning for her, do you not know that she received the Margaret Sanger Award? Uh, Brother James, do you not know Margaret Sanger was the founder of Planned Parenthood? Do you not know, uh, LeBron James, that Margaret Sanger was one of the favorite speakers for the KKK? The Ku Klux Klan women enjoy enjoyed inviting good old Margaret to speak for their gatherings. Do you not know that uh, many of Margaret Sanger's uh, uh, her um, tactics were adopted by the Klan? Do you not know that Margaret Sanger said the purpose of Planned Parenthood uh, is the eradication of the Negro race? Hey, Brother James, you are a Negro like me, you're a black man, African-American, you're very accomplished, very rich, very smart, but uh, had, uh, had Hillary Clinton uh, and, 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 uh, and, and Planned Parenthood had their way, perhaps, James, you wouldn't have even been born. Um, do you not know that Hillary Clinton's uh, 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 mentor, Robert KKK Byrd, and I don't believe that Robert Byrd, Senator Byrd, West Virginia Senator Byrd, even apologize for being in the Klan, but do you not know that he was a, 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 a grand dragon for the Ku Klux Klan? And he, sir, uh, was Hillary Rodham Clinton's uh, mentor. Do you not know that uh, no that that ab uh, Planned Parenthood abort more black babies? And by the way, the black community is targeted by Planned Parenthood. Seventy-eight percent of their abortuaries abortuaries are within two miles of black pop population centers. Do you not know that Planned Parenthood aborts more uh, black babies every two weeks than the Klan killed of us in its entire history? It is inconceivable. It is incoherent to even if you did like Donald Trump, I would, if I got a chance to, to, to be in the presence of LeBron James, I would be very respectful of his accomplishments. But, you know, he's a basketball player. And I would, I would he's, he's a professional NBA player. And I would show him respect. I have no names to call him anything like that. But I would ask him, and, and, and yes, sir, you're right. You do have a platform. You do have a voice. But I would ask you as you... Uh, 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 speak and you you say that I have a I I have this platform and I'm somebody that has a uh, uh, has a voice of command and uh, and the only way uh, for us to get better as a society is for us to get better as a people and for us to get better as a people is love you're right about that but as you give your command and you use your voice do you not know that based on Hillary Rodham Clinton's policies, she doesn't love us. The guy that you call the so-called president, he's against abortion. Hillary is for abortion on demand, late-term abortion, LeBron, and it disproportionately affects your people. And I hear people all the time, hey, wouldn't uh, abortion is not the only issue. It is for that child that's aborted. Yes, it is. It kills more African-Americans than the remaining five leading causes of death combined, combined. Nothing is wiping us out like abortion. Nothing is. And my brother, Brother LeBron, you stood on stage, man, 
and 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 campaigned for a lady uh, who who whose views of us is that African Americans are professional never do wells. Podesta in an email uh, arguing for open borders said, "Let's face it, there are some people who are going to do well regardless to who's in office." Uh, the, 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 the Sikhs and the Indians and, and various ones he named. And then there are others who are not going to do well regardless to who's in office. And they mentioned Muslims and they mentioned blacks and, and called the blacks, called us a group of professional never do wells. Now, how, whatever you think of, uh, of President Trump, you have the right to think that. But how do you, being an, an educated articulate man knowing the facts or perhaps some of these things I'm saying now you don't know perhaps you're not aware of I would like to think that you just didn't know it that, that you didn't know that these were Hillary's uh, positions because I, 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 I my opinion of you would greatly change if you knew that she had these positions and you knew that she accepted the Margaret Sanger award and she said I admire Margaret Sanger, and there's a lot that we can learn from Margaret Sanger. You know, like how to kill black folk. It, 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 it would bother me greatly. It would change my view of you. Uh, sir, uh, and I'm speaking with all the respect that I can muster here, uh, if you knew these things and your answer to the matter was, would still be, we'd be better off if Hillary had been the president. I was listening to Stephen A. Smith, and he was saying that uh, who out there believed that we wouldn't be better off had Hillary won or something to that effect. Well, Hillary would have been smoother. She would have been cooler. But let me, let me tell you something. Her policies would have meant death, my brother, to your people. Uh, uh, Planned Parenthood is afraid that they're going to be defunded. The media, uh, all of media, 90 plus percent are in favor of abortion. They, they, listen, they are, they're afraid that Donald Trump is going to defund Planned Parenthood. All of the left got upset with Donald because he's changing the, uh, the, uh, the laws with regard to transgendered, better word is freaks, men who alter their bodies that way, women who alter them, their bodies that way. A man cannot make himself into a woman. God didn't give us that. God had not given us that ability. God made them according to the Bible. God made them male according to the Bible. And God made them female. And there's no scripture, there's no uh, allowance for you to change that. Now you can cut off or cut in or whack off or cut put any groove in your body you want to but at the end of the day that DNA still says either male or female I am concerned that the truth is not being told my friends you can like Donald Trump or dislike Donald Trump so it doesn't matter to me one way or the other he is the president you can like Hillary or dislike Hillary I just hope that when you make your decisions you, you don't you don't make them based on how you feel about a thing but that you that you you do your you you do what the Bible says, you hear the matter, hear the matter, get the facts, pay attention to what's being said. I tend to many times when I watch the news after I see what takes place, they show me the story. When the talking heads begin to give their commentary on it, I mute them. I'm an intelligent man. I can draw my own conclusions. I trust my eyes more than I trust people in the media. You know if you have a president or someone who, is, uh, who, who believes that same-sex marriage is wrong and believes that homosexuality is wrong, well, do you think CNN, Don Lyman, or Anderson Cooper, or any of these uh, groups that have homosexuals, racial maddox, this lesbian, do you think they're going to be fair uh, to a president of any stripe, whether he's black or white, who takes a position that is against their lifestyle, which the Bible says is wrong? Of course they're not. So when you hear these matters, my friends, collect the facts, listen to them, and then come to the conclusion that you want to. But I just hope that you uh, come to an educated, informed conclusion, because you're right, uh, Mr. LeBron James. You do have a platform. Kevin Durant, you do have a platform. Use it wisely. The Bible says this. What say you?